Good afternoon and welcome to BBC News. We start with that developing story. A lorry has driven into a crowd of pedestrians in the Swedish capital, Stockholm. Let's take you to Sweden's capital. Now, this is the scene uh, outside a shopping mall, a pedestrianised street apparently where a lorry was driven into a number of people. Latest reports suggesting two people have been killed with reports that many others have been injured. The Swedish Prime Minister in the last few minutes has said everything indicates that the Stockholm truck crash is a terror attack. Uh, a number of shots reported to have been fired not yet confirmed, although uh, Stockholm sources uh, have told our security correspondent that uh, shots have been fired in another part of Stockholm from where the truck attack took place. It's still a confusing picture. So let's talk now to Arish Pendari, who was, uh, is in Stockholm for us. And Arish, first of all, tell us where you are, what you've seen. Hi, uh, we're, we're at the Dutton Dutton in the central of Stockholm and in our office. I'm basically waiting for information if we can evac evacuate the area or not, or what is actually going on. Uh, we heard a little bit of sound outside, but I think... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it was that we heard of, but all we saw is a lot of people running from the area afterwards, and they started evacuating all the shops and stores around the area. But we're too far away to be able to see more exact details. We're just at the border of the evacuation area, so uh, we're waiting for more information, just like you guys. And yeah, we're just looking at pictures which clearly indicate a lot of people panicked by what they'd heard, uh, many running away from, from the shopping mall. Yeah, that is correct. That is exactly one of the biggest areas where we have a lot of people circulating around two of the biggest malls here in the central of Stockholm. So they basically evacuated the whole area there and all the shops, small shops around it too. And most of the people around the offices are waiting for information to know if we can leave the building or not and what to do for the moment. You, you describe hearing some sort of sound. Can you be a little more specific? What, what did you think it was? What was going through your mind when you realized something was going on? That in any ways. I mean, the, we just heard something and then we started going to the windows and saw basically a lot of people going away from the area. So I don't know if it was the police car that was getting there now to evacuate people or what it was that we heard just outside. So I can't certainly speculate in that anymore, any more in detail. And obviously, given events around the world recently, there's always a worry that areas like this, these events happen. Yeah, that is correct. I mean, uh, we have no direct speculation on what this could be and what's going on. We're mostly worried about the employees and people around us to make sure they get safe before we even start thinking about this in any ways. So what's going on and going into more, more detail. Well, Arish Pandari, thank you very much for joining us. Stay safe. That's Arish Pandari joining us from Stockholm. Uh, let's talk to our correspondent, Andy Moore, who's uh, going to ju just bring us what we know. Uh, the first reports uh, came from uh, Swedish police uh, just before 2 o'clock our time, so only just over an hour ago. They said that a lorry had driven into uh, pedestrians in the centre of Stockholm and that several people were injured. Uh, the updated information we have now, the most important piece of information, I think, is from the Swedish Prime Minister, Stefan Löfven, who said that everything indicates that the crash is a terror attack and that substantiates other indications we were getting uh, according to Swedish television they'd been told by the police that it was being treated as a terror attack uh, we've had uh, indications from the Swedish intelligence agency that it was an attack so uh, all the information seems to be trending in one way at the moment that it is a terror attack of some sort um, casualties Swedish police say at least two people are dead uh, there are eyewitness reports from reporters on the scene that more may be dead. We've had reports of uh, bodies uh, lying on the uh, ground covered in blankets, so the death toll uh, may rise. Uh, Swedish police have told people to avoid central Stockholm. Uh, the subway, the Tunnelbana system in Stockholm has also been closed down, so it seems to be treated as a, a serious attack. So I, I've seen pictures from the scene and we can see a large blue lorry. It's actually a, a beer truck uh, that has crashed through pedestrians and then into a department store. There was then a fire in the cab of the lorry. Uh, the main part of the lorry wasn't affected by that fire, but there was a fire in the cab uh, of the lorry. 
there were reports unsubstantiated from the scene of shots being fired. We're also getting reports from Frank Gardner, our security correspondent, that according to him, he's been told by Swedish sources that shots have been fired in another part of Stockholm from where this uh, truck attack took place. Uh, but we've got no other reports on that at the moment. Uh, we don't know the status of the, the driver. As I said, there was a fire in the cab and it crashed into the department store. We, we don't know if the driver has been arrested or, or whether they are, have, have been injured or in fact whether they're one of those people who's been killed. Uh, inevitably, uh, Twitter, I'm just looking at the Stockholm Police Twitter feed. Uh, they are, and they're using a, a news agency, but they're saying the suspect in the truck attack has been detained by police. No clarification, no confirmation. It's just out there at the moment. Uh, but yeah, as you were saying, it's, it's what the Swedish Prime Minister has said that, 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 that may confirm what many fear. That, that's right. I mean, it, it has the hallmarks of a terror attack that we've unfortunately seen in other European cities. In Nice, of course, where a, a truck was used to kill 80 pedestrians. In London, of course, we, we saw a vehicle used to kill pedestrians. So at, at first it could have been a terrible accident, but all the indications are now that it is a, a, a terror attack of some sort. The vehicle itself, there are reports that it may have been stolen or that it, uh, the driver may have been kidnapped or something. But uh, certainly the important information from the Prime Minister, it's being treated as a terror attack. It looks like a terror attack in the centre of Stockholm.